And this same method can work for, for you know, 12, 8, 9, 8, 7, 4, any of those obscure time signatures. Have you been able to figure out how to make music in odd time signatures in GarageBand iOS? Or is it easier to just record yourself doing four bars of 5-4 or something similar? But yeah, I do exactly what you're saying there. So let's just tap the plus button here and just give ourselves some extra bars. Let's say we've got 20 bars here. Boom, 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 boom. And so we want some 5-4. I basically create myself my own metronome. So here's how we go. Uh, we would go to our drums here and I'll hit the metronome here to play along with it. Uh, but I want, but basically this is the first and only time that the metronome will be used. And what I need to do, it takes a little bit of practice to get this down, but I'll come to my drums and I'll record in a 5-4 rhythm. So just a very basic 5-4 rhythm. So we're going to go... Right? So let's just hit the record. Actually, what we'll do, take my own advice, track settings, velocity sensitivity off, because we don't want to have like hard hits and soft hits. So let's say we're working on a 5-4 track here, and this is what we can do. We can hit the record button. Oh, we're a bit slow, aren't we? You have to kind of go against the grain. It takes a little bit of practice, and you kind of have to ignore that metronome. But once you get a few there, that'll do. So once you get a few there, obviously you can rinse and repeat because all we need, all we really need is those first five beats. And what you'll notice here is that if we, in fact, I'll just show you how we do this because you only really need to do it once and then split it and loop it. So if we split it there, you notice that we're splitting it at a point just after the first bar. That's because we're going to use five beats. And if we then loop this out, we see we've got these 20 bars. What we're actually going to get is instead of 20 bars of 5-4, we're going to get... Pete has to do some quick mathematics. So yeah, so you see there's the very last bar there. And every every split point, you can see there, the little split points, they're going to be on the beat sometimes, but sometimes not. And this same method can work for, for you know, 12, 8, 9, 8, 7, 4, any of those obscure time signatures. You just have to do a bit of mathematics to work out what you can do there. So then all you do is turn off the metronome and we have our own custom-made metronome. If you make any mistakes along the way, again, we're very drum centric today, aren't we? You can come into your quantization. Uh, see, oh, see, it's got swing on. <laughs> we'll just go straight and uh, eighth note because we know we're hitting right on the eighth notes anyway. In fact, we're sitting on quarter notes, aren't we? So you can just go quarter notes because that's all we're hitting on just for a metronome. And then if we wanted to, uh, we can start building out a wonderful little track. So we'll come over here. Let's just uh, add some keyboard. And then if you were playing along a, a piano part in uh, here, so. Let's just play this on. One, two, three. and so on and so forth. It's a bit hard to play up over there over my keyboard and everything else, but yeah, then you can just... A beautiful 5-4 rhythm. And of course, you don't need to keep this as your drum. You can then program in some drums. Problem is you can't use things like drummer. You can't use any loops unless you happen to find some cool 5-4 loops and, and that sort of thing. And things like your uh, time, your tempo won't really be 110 because it's 110 beats per minute at 4-4, four, four, which means it would be, oh, someone help me out. I have to do a lot of maths. So if it's five beats per the one, ten, uh, 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 less <laughs> or more. <laughs> something like that. Uh, but hopefully that helps you out. So yeah, totally possible, uh, but not in an automated way. GarageBand doesn't make it easy for you to use those uh, complex time signatures.